to space. T minus 30 seconds. range. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. At T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Vandenberg Space Launch Complex 4 East at 6.40 a.m. Pacific Time. is supersonic. And there's that call out that Falcon 9 is supersonic. Next up will be a call out for Max Q. Max Q. And there's that call out for Max Q. This is when the vehicle is experiencing the greatest amount of external stresses at, as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Now we are, we are about one minute Come away back, from Jill. a series of events, MECO, Stage SEP, SES-1, and fairing separation. MECO, or main engine cutoff, is where all nine of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage shut down. That's followed by stage separation, when the first and second stages separate from one another. That is then followed by SES-1, or second engine start one, where we light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. And finally, we will have fairing separation when the two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage. So keep an eye out for all of these events, which are going to happen in pretty rapid succession. on today's mission are flight Both proven. vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Are flight proven with one half flying for the sixth time and the other flying for its seventh time. Now on the left side of your screen is the Falcon 9 first stage and on the right side is the second stage. Falcon 9 first stage will be making its way back down to Earth, and the right uh, side, the second stage, will be carrying our Starlink satellites into orbit. Now, currently, the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. If successful, this will mark our 187th overall landing of an orbital class rocket. On the right side of your screen, attached to the second stage, you can clearly see that MVAC engine. Uh, it'll be continuing its burn for the next several minutes uh, to get our Starlink satellites into orbit. Now, 
As I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 225th mission overall and 26th mission just this year. As a reminder, Starlink Both is vehicles a continue to follow nominal trajectories. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Coming up in the next 20 seconds or so, we should see that entry burn startup on the first stage, which will be on the left side of your screen. FTS has saved. The first stage used to launch our 46 Starlink satellites into space today is flying for its 13th time today, having supported two NASA crew missions, CRS-23, Series XM-8, XP, two transporter missions, Global Star FM-15, Aero C-3, and three Starlink missions. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. we did have a successful entry burn on stage one transonic stage. and there's that call out that the first stage is transonic which means it is traveling near the speed of sound up next is going to be the stage, stage two one. fts is saved it's going to be the stage one landing burn which we'll see on the left side of your screen there Stage one, landing burn. Stage two, terminal guidance. And there's confirmation that that stage one landing burn has started in preparation for our land for landing on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you in the Pacific. Stage one, landing leg deploy. And there you saw on your screen, Falcon 9 has successfully landed on stage our drone ship. Stage one, landing ship. confirmed. On our drone ship, of course, I still love you in the Pacific Ocean. This marks our 187th overall landing of an orbital class rocket. Expected loss of signal Vandenberg. Including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. MPEX right there. And if you heard those callouts, we also had successful Seco 1. And we're currently awaiting nominal, nominal orbit insertion. And there's that callout for nominal orbital insertion. 